Good morning. Welcome to the Dog Man. I'm going to get right into it. Oh man, what is going on today? Got all this chaos erupting at these colleges over this pro Hamas garbage. Man, I got to tell you, as a veteran and an American, I hate seeing that. How I never thought I would see the day that people would get out in the streets. And these ain't, I got to say, I haven't really dug into the news stories that much. But from what I see, uh, it's all, all walks of life joining in on this nonsense. White kids, black kids, Asian kids, just kids. And the professors and who else? I don't know who else is getting into it. Uh, I can tell you right now, if that ever popped up in where I live, they wouldn't, you know, they probably wouldn't find those people again. That's just how life in my part of the country is. That stuff is not stood for. Uh, it would be, uh, it would be stopped as soon as it started. But in these big cities, uh, and it's always the same cities that are causing this trouble. L.A., New York, Austin. Austin's like a big one. Uh, Oregon, all up in there. Always the same amount, same troublemakers. But you know, these protests have always happened in colleges. It happened in Vietnam. It, it, and I never have understood that because they haven't lived long enough to know much about political uh, things and, and world problems. They think they know it all, but they don't because they haven't lived long enough. What did you know at 20? You didn't know nothing. And so I don't know if it's they're trying to get attention. You know, here you, this Columbia University, you know, one of the most prestige colleges in the world, but they got nothing better to do than go. And, you know, at least in the Vietnam era they weren't anti-american they weren't saying death to america american citizens were not screaming death to america they just didn't want a war uh but now it's a whole whole different bag of tricks and <laughs> i've been doing some research trying to figure out what the heck has happened i've went back all the way from because you got to figure those protesters are probably anywhere from 20 to 30 years old I'm like, what events have happened could have changed people? Because it wasn't like this five years ago. You know, it, it really started getting bad about four or five years ago. So I get on here and I'm like, what weird events have happened? What did they put in the water? Because things just went south about four to five years ago. Well... We had a lot of things happen in 2020. Yeah, you know, the thing where you had to, where they were pushing you getting the thing. So something might have been into that. So, you know, they put something in the water in 2020. I don't know what it was, but people changed quickly. And then I'm looking to see. We had monoliths popping up all over the place. They think aliens put them there. Yeah. But here's a good one. Now, this could be the start of it. Mr. Peanut was killed off, and then he was reincarnated as Baby Nut. I knew they killed him off, but I didn't know about this Baby Nut thing. And uh, I haven't read into that, but I'll bet you he was a transvestalite. I, if, if Baby Nut come back as a transvestalite, there's our problem right there. I don't know. But something has happened in the last 20 years. Something's changed the DNA of human beings for them to be out there. Number one, to be a protester. I mean, you ain't got nothing better to do. You can't work. You can't, you can't get in there and learn, get an education. What is wrong with them? What is wrong with them? It's, it's like the news. Yeah, the only reason I go to watch it every day is to see what kind of strange things happen now. Man, I tell you what. I got to get a drink of coffee. That's the only thing that ain't strange right now is my coffee. Ah. 
But seriously, I think it's disgraceful, despicable. Oh, I got no words, man. Yeah, if I was president, I'd round them all up, ship them over to, let them go live with them. You know? It, it's, it's horrific. Why would you ever side with a terrorist organization and scream death to America? Now, I don't care how many of you, if I lose subscribers over saying that, hey, I didn't want you anyway. Did not want you. You know? I don't think any kind of war is good, but those kind of, you know, the Middle East, there has never, in thousands of years, there has never been peace over there, and there never will be. Don't know what the, all the reasons are, but hey, they, you know, they're not, it, it's not a, uh, a place of harmony, I'll tell you that. You know, there's always something going on. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that anymore, but something changed over the last 20 years. Um, it's it's weird. What could it be? I don't know, but it's, it's, it's... Not only did things change, but they're changing very fast right now. Is it... Some people say it's the end of the world. You know, it says in the Bible, this will happen in the end of the world. Well, maybe it is, because maybe it needs to be. Because I don't think the world can deal with any more craziness like it's, and we're just, be, we're getting started. I think this is just the beginning. It is going to get much worse. So again, I am very happy, you know, even I live in the center of the country and it's pretty much like it was 50 years ago here. You know, the town pretty much supports itself. You go to town, it's small town America. We don't have that crazy protesting crap here. And it would not be, uh, it would be dealt with very quickly. And that's how every town, every city needs to be. If you are anti-American, well, you don't need to be here. We need to round your butt up and ship you off to a country of your choice, preferably of not your choice. We can send you to Iran. We can jump you off on the border over there. Uh, you know, a lot of soldiers have died over the hundreds of years forming this country. So, all you're doing is spitting in their face. So, I would be happy to pay for a ticket, <coughs> excuse me, for at least one of you to go somewhere. And it ain't going to be a nice place. You know, I hear Somalia is, is pretty sweet this time of year, weather-wise. Yep, we could send you to Somalia. How about Haiti? I'd buy a plane ticket for you to Haiti. Yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't even have to land. We'd just put a parachute on you. I'll pack that myself. We can drop you off in Haiti. Yeah, tropical paradise, they say. So if you think America is so bad, maybe you do need to take a field trip and go see some of these countries. Uh, because I don't think, yeah, why don't you ask that basketball player who got thrown in prison in Russia? I haven't heard her running her mouth lately. Yeah, but it's a shame that it would take something like that. And even though, you know, our country's not perfect, you know, it's it's not too far away where we can't fix things. But I, I, I don't see that happening, so. I don't know, guys. Give me your comments. I mean, if you are a true-blooded American, or he even came from another country and made a life here and love it, well, you're not, you're not enjoying what you're seeing. And I, sh I certainly am not enjoying what I'm seeing. So, I don't know what can be done. Leave me a comment. Happy trails.